Hi, this is Rajesh Alluri. Today I would like to tell some of the mispronounced words or wrongly pronounced words in hospitality industry or in hotel industry. Come to the first one. It's buffet, B-U-F-F-E-T. Like it's a meal with large spread of dishes where guests can serve themselves. It is wrongly pronounced as buffet as its spelling is B-U-F-F-E-T. But the correct pronunciation is buffet. Come to the second one. It's ball. It's like a round, a deep utensil where we can carry food or a liquid. It is wrong. In, it is incorrectly pronounced as bowl. Don't stress on the word W. So it's bowl, like a biryani bowl, a big portion bowl, or a small portion bowl. Coming to the third one, a Spanish word which is a cocktail, an alcoholic drink, which is made with a white rum, mint, sugar, and with the carbonated water. It is incorrectly pronounced as mojito. M-O-J-I-T-O but the correct pronunciation is Mojito M-O-I-T-O Mojito the letter J which sounds like H here as it is a Spanish word coming to the fourth one a fish which is being incorrectly pronounced as Salmon as the spelling is S-A-L-M-O-N but the correct pronunciation is Salmon Salmon fish Coming to the fourth one, a kitchen ingredient, a spices, which is star in shape, uh, which we normally use in uh, biryanis and mostly used in Asian cuisines. Uh, it is called as star anise, as it is incorrectly pronounced as star anise. It's not star anise. It is pronounced as star anise. Coming to the sixth one, a French word, a breakfast roll. Uh, a flaky puff which is in the shape of a crescent normally we will have it as a breakfast as it is wrongly pronounced as croissants it's not croissants as the spelling is C-R-O-I-S-S-A-N-T-S it should be pronounced as croissant croissant not croissants croissant coming to the seventh one a hot chili pepper a family from capsicum uh, which this one is mainly used in Mexican cuisine and uh, in here we use in pizzas coming to as uh, the spelling is J-A-L-A-P-E-N-O it is incorrectly pronounced as Jalpino it's not J it should pronounce as Halpino not Jalpino okay Halpino coming to the eighth one a creamy dessert uh, which the spelling is M-O-U-S-S-E it's not mouse it's mousse like example um, a chocolate mousse or something like that it's not mouse it is mousse coming to the ninth one a kernel from a dry fruit family which is an oval in shape uh, it is incorrectly pronounced as almond as the spelling is A-L-M-O-N-D it's not almond it's almond the letter L is silent here Coming to the 10th one, an, an interesting one, a sauce which is used for marination, which the word originated from in England. Uh, it's a sauce made with uh, tamarind, uh, pickled onions, garlic, vinegar and anchovies. So it should be pronounced by removing this R-S-E, like Worcestershire. It is incorrectly pronounced as Worcestershire. But the correct pronunciation is Worcestershire. You should concentrate on the word W-O much. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. It's a Worcestershire sauce. One more interesting fact is that it's a non-vegetarian sauce. Because in this you will have anchovies, a fish. A, a fish which is been um, in brine solution. So nowadays we are getting a vegan, uh, vegan version of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, next time when you're new to the guest who are vegans, try to remember that the original Worcestershire sauce is a non vegetarian sauce. Come to the 11th one a marketing tool uh, which we can call as a leaflet, pamphlet, or um, a booklet where 
and this will have the information and pictures of a product or a service is there. Like it should be pronounced, it is incorrectly pronounced as brochure as the spelling is B R O C H U R E. But it's not brochure, you should pronounce as brochure. See? Brochure. You should concentrate, it's a two syllable word which we should concentrate on the main one brochure, not brochure, it's brochure. Coming to the twelfth one. Uh, it is a it is in the bathroom, a bathtub. It is called jacuzzi. The spelling is J A C U Z Z I. It is incorrectly pronounced as jacuzzi something like that. It's not jacuzzi. It is jacuzzi, a bathtub. Uh, a, a jacuzzi means like a bathtub with underwater jets in a water where you have uh, uh, gives and massage feeling. Coming to thirteenth one, sweet. It is a type of a room. It is uh, a room in a hotel, a luxury room in a hotel, where it is commonly being mispronounced. And the spelling is S U I T E. The name it is incorrectly pronounced as suit. It's not suit. It's sweet, like uh, the sweet what we eat. But the pronunciation should be like sweet, not suit. Uh, the sweet room means uh, two rooms interconnected with each other. One as a living room and one as a bedroom. In some hotels, you'll have a kitchenette too. I hope you understand. When you talk to the guests next time, say as a sweet room, not soup room. Come to the 14th one. Uh, a second month in a year where we wrongly pronounce this word as the name says that F E B R U E R Y. It's not February. I heard maximum people saying it like February. It's not February. There is no worry in February. Actually, it's a Latin word which has been uh, derived from the word Februaris. Okay? So, leave it. So, the correct pronunciation is February. February, not February. She pronounces February. Coming to the 15th one, a basic ingredient in a kitchen, the onion. As the spelling is O N I O N. Although the letter word is, uh, that is O, you should not stress on the word, the letter O here. You should pronounce it as onion, not onion. Onion. Coming to the 16th one, which we normally use in the front office department, like while asking to the guest, like, Sir, are you comfortable with the hotel service? Are you comfortable with the room? Or something like that. So, when you're using that word, I have heard that many of the people are concentrating on the word table here, like comfortable. Comfortable. So don't stress on the word like table. Say as comfortable. Say as comfortable, not comfortable or comfortable. But don't stress on the word table name. Okay? Coming to the 17th one. A coffee. It's a type of a coffee. A dark uh, coffee which has been forcefully infused uh, through grounded coffee beans. It's a dark black coffee. And it is being commonly mispronounced as espresso, not espresso. It is espresso. There is no X in this word here. So when you go to a coffee shop, when you are telling to the guests, say it as espresso, not espresso. Come to the 18th one, V A L E T, valet. It should be pronounced as valet. It is being used in two departments, like front office and uh, housekeeping. In front of us, we have a par valet parking attendant. The person who is responsible for uh, parking cars on behalf of the guest in the parking lot. So the person is called as a valet parking attendant. Coming to housekeeping department is a person who is in charge for laundry. A laundry attendant is also called as a valet service there. So that's for that. And the last three I have chosen from the automobile sector because as the people deal with uh, cars. So, it's good to pronounce the words in a correct manner. So, the correct pronunciations make, uh, make um, we feel that to impress. So, coming here, the 19th one, it's Renault. A French company, a French automobile company, R-E-N-A-U-L-T. As it has been wrongly pronounced as Renault. It's not Renault, it's Renault. Coming to the 20th one, it's C H E V R O L E T. It's an American company, 
the formerly known as uh, General Motors. So it is also being wrongly pronounced as Chevrolet. It's not C H E V. Should be pronounced as Yes word. It's an American word. Chevrolet. The letter T is silent here. So when you see that, say that it's Chevrolet, not Chevrolet. Come to the last one. It's a German word, Volkswagen. As it's a German word, the letter V should be pronounced as F, and letter W should be pronounced as V here, like Volkswagen, which means a people's car here. I hope you understand this, and it will be useful for you. The main reason for me to do this video is some of the students ask me regarding this wrong pronunciation. And this video is mainly for the hotel management students or the budding hotel agents. Just before I close, I want to just repeat all everything once, revise once. First one, buffet, ball, mojito, salmon, star anise, cousin, alpino, moose, almond, Worcestershire, brochure, jacuzzi, sweet room, February, onion, comfortable, Espresso, Valet, Reno, Chevrolet, Volkswagen. I hope this video will be useful for you. Thank you.